Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to strobe. This is going to be kind of a possible series if you guys like it, where I will try different trends and let you know how you can achieve them at home and how to make them work for you. Um, a lot of times people are just like, what is strobing? Since this is kind of the new thing. It's kind of like extreme highlighting without contour. It's nothing really special. You can do this with a lot of things you already have. This is just going to be kind of highlighting like crazy. Um, the advantage to highlighting over contouring would be when you have a highlight, especially ones that, as you can see, this catches the light. It's not just matte and lighter than my skin tone. It's actually something that's reflective. As I move, it actually interacts with the light itself. The advantages to that is that it's actually going to interact with the lighting source that you're in and you're going to pull kind of you know, your cheekbone's going to look higher because it's catching the light and it's going to be legitimately working with the light sources around you versus like contouring. If I put a contour here, even though I have a strong light source coming from here, it's still gonna be there, even though like it wouldn't naturally be there. So it's a way to kind of add some dimension to the face that actually works with the lighting situations you're in and it's going to be a little more natural because of that. That being said, you're probably gonna have to work a little bit harder to get this to last longer. If you have drier skin, this might not be an issue, but wearing a lot of cream products, keeping a lot dewier, might be a little bit harder to keep on during the summer months for people with combination oily skin, which is what I will be touching on in the tutorial part because I do have combination skin. Um, people, another thing is people on the fair skin tone, contouring is going to give them a lot more oomph because it is going something that's darker when you can't add something much lighter. However, that also being said, people that don't find that contouring does very much because they have a deeper skin tone will really find strobing or a lot of highlight to work really well for them. So let's go ahead, try this out. You can let me know if this is a trend that you will be trying out and what you think about it. So let's get started. So right now I'm just starting with getting some foundation put on. As you can see, I already started to apply it and then I decided I would record a video. So this is the foundation I will be using right now. I just have it mixed there on that little palette. And right now it is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD mixed with the Life's Entropies Elixir in white. Um, I'm testing out a bunch of different white bases right now to do a more comprehensive review, so I'm trying this one out. Also, Makeup Forever Ultra didn't realize that they were going to have the Ultra HD at IMAX, so I bought the 118 shade, which was my normal go-to because it was the lightest neutral. And now there's probably one that would match me, but I already bought two of these in IMAX, so I'm still mixing foundation. So I'm going to be applying that with a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki and what I'm doing because I do have combination skin and I get oily throughout the day and because we aren't going to be powdering as much, I want it to still last. I'm actually going to be using a setting spray as I go. So I'm taking the e.l.f. Mix and Fix and actually spraying my brush before going into my foundation and applying it to the skin. So you just want to kind of pat that all over. As you can see, well, maybe you can't, but basically I'm tan for me. So I had to mix on the back of my foundation palette because I normally have it just pre-mixed in a jar, but now I'm a little too tan for my previous mixture. We went floating down the river on Independence Day and I got quite a bit of sun. Plus Jeff and I have been running, so I spent a lot more time outside because the Pacific Northwest has lovely, milder summers than Utah. So as always, once I have my foundation on, I am gonna just kind of tap over it with a beauty blender. It's actually quite damp because I don't really want it to pick up the product. I just want it to kind of smooth it and press it more into my skin. At this point, you just want to do any concealing or correcting that you need to do. I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longer Wear Concealer in NC15, and I'm just going to go ahead and start concealing. All right, so as you can see, I've done all my face concealing, and I've done some correcting under my eyes. So I'm going to go in with a slightly lighter concealer. This is Nar Chantilly. So this is like my winter shade, but I'm lighter than it right now. So I'm going to use it to highlight. Because I'm not applying a, like, powder where I'm going to use a brush to apply this and this is a firm blender E44 by Sigma and I'm just going to start patting that 
under my eyes because I do need a little extra color correction. I am going to set under my eyes just because that's some place that I feel like always creases and that you do need to. So as you can see, we're going to do this a little bit kind of as a highlight combined correcting. So instead of going just where I have darkness, just right here, I am pulling it and blending it out kind of in not as huge of a triangle as like some people do, but a little bit just to kind of lift this area and bring it along the cheekbone. I'll take just a little bit down the nose and on the cupid's bow. And I'll pull this a little bit up on my forehead. Again, I have a larger forehead and especially since we're not contouring, I'm going to still be kind of selective with where we are highlighting because we're basically going to be using the highlighting to shape our face. All right, so now that we have our correcting done, I am going to set under my eyes. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I'm using that on a dry beauty blender. And as you can see, I'm just going right where I need it. All right, so now we're gonna start the like strobing part of this. I'm gonna be using the Becca Shimmer and Skin Perfector. This is in the color Moonstone, which is a very pale champagne color. And this is a cream like luminizer. Another option is if you have either a pressed powder or something like MAC Naked or Vanilla, depending on your skin tone, you can always just mix something like that into your moisturizer. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand and this is what we're gonna be working with. So you can also mix this into your foundation for an all over glow, but again, because I have oilier skin, I don't really wanna do that. So we're just gonna start basically patting that on. I like doing this with my fingers so that the warmth of my hands can really make it melt into the skin. And so with strobing, you're pretty much going to be pretty generous and highlight all the tops of basically any high plane. So tops of your cheekbones would be the first and probably most important one. You can kind of bring it because you also are going to have this on the top of your brow. Don't get this in your brow like I just did. That was stupid. You're also going to pull it down the center of your nose. And then you can also pour it onto your forehead. So some people pull it here and some people go to the sides. I like to do it just above my brow. So again, you're gonna get a little bit of glow kind of if you've been, you know, sweating outside. But I don't like to bring it in the center of my forehead. I feel like that looks weird. So I always just pull it right above my eyebrow. And then Cupid's bow. A lot of people hit their chin. I don't really like hitting my chin, but we will because we're showing. And some people also do it kind of along their jawbone. So the place that I would strobe, I would do cheekbones, this part of my forehead right above my brow, bridge of the nose, and Cupid's bow would be my go-to. So as you can see, we're like super glowy, but I do have oilier skin, so that's something that we're not gonna want for the entire day. So I'm gonna show you a couple options to go with that. So I'm gonna take the RMCA No Color Powder, and I'm just taking a powder puff and you're gonna like make sure you don't have a lot of excess powder on it. And we're basically going to de-glow the places where we won't want it to show up throughout the day. So I want the basically the tip of my nose to glow. So I'm gonna go to both sides. I don't really want this area by the side of my mouth to glow, so we're gonna go over that. I don't really want this area where I'd want basically if there was a contour to glow because I want that to recede. So I'm also gonna powder right there. And I don't want the center of my forehead or really the edge of my hairline to glow. So I'm going to just powder those areas. So now you're just gonna to wanna to tap off any excess powder if you do have it. So I'm also gonna go ahead and apply a cream blush real quick. So this is the Water Canvas Blush in Morning Tender by Vincent Longo, and I'm just going to apply this kind of towards the center of my cheeks. Again, this is a very like fresh look, so I don't wanna kind of do it as far back as 
maybe I normally would. And then I'm just going to blend that into my skin. So right here, this could definitely be your finished look, but we're gonna add even more glow. So I'm gonna go in with the Mary Luminizer. This is something you can also do and skip the cream and just use a powder if your skin is oily enough that you think this isn't, isn't gonna last. And so I'm just going to pat this kind of along and this is going to not only give us a little more glow, it'll kind of set that cream product. Because again, my skin is oily enough that it will probably break through these throughout the day. And be careful because you are going over that cream product. You're gonna wanna be patting as you can see. Don't just be sweeping. If you want a less intense look, you could always go for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Luminous Light. This is more of a champagne kind of glowy look. You'd even use that all over or to set your makeup if you want the glowy look without actually having to have the tackiness from a more luminous foundation. So that's another great option if you are a little more on the oilier side and you wanna follow this trend. I'm also gonna take a Sigma E25 and I am going to hit the inner corners of my eyes and pull this a little bit under the tear duct area in the center of my eyelids and the brow bone. Yeah, don't really, if you're going to go for something that's gonna look as dewy as this, you probably wanna make sure that you are hitting most of your face, so don't only do it to your cheekbones if you're gonna do it this intense because it's just gonna look a little uneven. So maybe pop a little bit here or in the center of your lid or somewhere. Make sure you have somewhere on the lower part of your face. It's just gonna make it look more natural. So go ahead, grab your favorite setting spray. I'm using the Make It Forever Mix and Fix, the O2, because something like MAC Fix Plus isn't really made to set your makeup, but it will give you that really dewy look. So it's gonna be great for someone with a little more of a drier skin. I need something that's gonna actually kind of set it in place. So this is the one I'm opting for. So just give your face a good spritz. All right, and as you can see, this is the finished look. It's a very dewy, glowy look. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you wanna see some more like trend tutorials. I'm happy to try them out and show you guys how I'm gonna rock them. Let me know if you're going to be wearing this trend. Personally, I don't really know how much I'm gonna wear this. I think it's gonna look great in photos, so you might see it in a couple photos of mine. But I like a little bit more contouring. I like to add a little more definition to my face and I don't like being quite this glowy. So let me know in the comments box below if you are going to try it out. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel because then you won't miss any tutorials from me. Also give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me out and I would very much appreciate it if you do. You can also follow me on my other forms of social media. I'm Rebecca Shores MUA on Instagram as well. Rebecca Shores MUA.com is my blog. If you want to chill and kind of hang out and whatever, I am RK Shores on Twitter and Snapchat. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. See you later.